Why, hello there. I am Pepsi Sita. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how the brains of smart people differ from the brains of dumb people? The brain is made up of millions of little cells. Groups of individual cells represent things like memories or feelings or skills. 50 brain cells here might encode your feelings about dark, bright, long vegetables. Of these 50 brain cells, 10 of them might relate to taste, while 25 of them relate to shape or size. And the more interconnections you have, the better your skills, feelings, or memories. Ah, this reminds me of a particularly pleasant memory. But I'm sure you don't want to hear about that right now. So anyways, most average people have brain cells concentrated in four major areas. Food, drink, sex, mmm, sex, and the movements of the ball. What ball, you ask? It doesn't matter. Any ball. Baseball, football, soccer ball, volleyball, even, you know. The mind is fascinated by the movements of the ball. Now, in the brains of dumb people, these four areas of the brain take up 90 to 95% of the brain. This leaves only 5 to 10% of the brain left for things such as vocabulary, math, and common sense. Why are dumb people such bad spellers? It's because they only have a tiny fraction of their brain available to vocabulary and grammar because 95% of their brain is taken up with eat, drink, sex, ball. Eat, drink, sex, ball. Eat, drink, sex, ball. Eat, drink, sex, ball. Oh! <laughs> Think of the brain as a dumb person as 100,000 Google servers, where 95% of the servers are taken up storing data on food, drink, sex, and the ball. When a search comes in involving math, and higher thinking, the search is slow and prone to error because there's so little free capacity devoted to these subjects in the brain. That is precisely why dumb people can usually only talk about eating, drinking, sex, and the movements of the ball, but choke up when asked to calculate 10 to the third power. 10 to the third power! 10 to the third power! Come on, come on. Don't know it? I thought so. <laughs> now, smart people have areas of the brain devoted to food, drink, and sex. But these areas take up a much smaller side of the brain. And in a curious footnote, smart people have little or no space in the brain devoted to the movements of the ball. That's why you'll rarely see anyone with a brain watching football or basketball. What do smart people do with all the extra space in the brain? They fill it with vocabulary and math, problem solving skills and art and much more. While the typical dumb person only has about 5,000 brain cells to deal with basic grammar and vocabulary, a smart person may have over 200,000. That's why dumb people say the words uh and like so much. They have so few brain cells devoted to vocabulary that they struggle to put sentences together. Me like you uh. This doesn't mean smart people are better than dumb people. It just means that they're different. So the next time you see a dumb person in a liquor store, or a football game, or in a community college, or in the mirror, know that dumbness is not just a label. It's a very accurate description of their brain. It's like having a hard drive encoded with mush. Oh, I hope this has been helpful to you. I am Pepsi Sita. <laughs>